welcome students today we will learn an interesting topic re regarding the arthropoda phylum so here the two classes centipedes and millipedes so the comparison of these two classes is very important for board examination okay so centipede means 100 lakers century century means 100 runs likewise say here centipede means 100 lakers and millipedes means 1000 lakers so the centipedes are also known as a kilopoda and millipedes are known as a diplopoda the centipedes are terrestrial air breathing and carnivores terrestrial means they live on the earth and air breathing next carnivores these are uh, um, the food material for these animals is a uh, uh, flesh of uh, other animals that's why these are carnivores next uh, here the millipedes are terrestrial air breathing but these are detrivores detrivores means these are the animals uh, which feed on dead and decaying matter okay next uh, each segment of the trunk bears a pair of uh, clawed appendages here in uh, centipedes uh, trunk consists of each segment of the trunk consists of uh, one pair of uh, clawed appendages uh, in millipedes uh, each segment consists of two pairs of legs that's why the number will be doubled in millipedes next the first pair of appendages uh, bears poisonous glands so uh, it consists of a poisonous gland and uh, through the claws uh, they uh, inject the poison into the victim so but the poisonous claws and poisonous gland are absent in millipedes next here nethocalarium is absent so nethocalarium is present in millipedes nethocalarium is nothing but the a flap like structure formed by the union of a, a pair of maxillae is known as a nethocalarium so it is present it is a characteristic feature of millipedes examples for centipede is a scolopendra and for millipedes is julas scolopendra or scruti gerina so jerry kala jerry and tam gada manamu that is scolopendra so this is about the comparison of centipede and the millipede which is also important for the uh, board examination for four marks question